if you might be of some help. Are you lost? Well, no, actually, I'm a writer for the Frontier Times. Here, you ever seen one of them? I have. Great stories. Well, thank you. Tell you what, I'm needing some information about the legendary gunfight that supposedly happened right out here on the streets of Palo Pinto. Do either of you know anything about that? Yeah, I've heard stories about it ever since I was a kid from the old timers, but there aren't many of those guys around anymore. Hmm. What about you? Mister? I'm just a cowboy from Dallas. See that old man sitting back there at the table? Yes, sir. They say he was there when it all happened. I reckon if you can get him to talk, you'll find your story. Well, much obliged. Excuse me, sirs, may I join you? Are you a salesman? No, sir, no. Are you a politician? No, not hardly. Hey, ask him if he's a preacher. You ain't a preacher, are you? No, I'm Daniel Smalley. I, I'm a writer for the Frontier Times, and I'm here in town to do a story uh, about your, uh, you know, your... The big shootout. Well, yeah, how did you know? They come in here by the droves, and they want us to tell them the pure facts what? of the big shootout. And we sit here and pour our guts out to them, and then when they get back to the big city, and they write it up, and ain't nothing like we told them. Yeah, yeah, but I want to know the true story. Bull. Yeah, just tell them the story, you old coot. You ain't got nothing to do anyway. Well, what makes you different than all the rest? Well, sir, I'm not a kid anymore. You know, I'm past all that stuff. I just want the facts. And I'm going to tell you, this feels like a great story. Yeah. Feels like, well, every time we tell the true story to you, you people who come down here and want to know the facts, 
He comes out in the newspaper and a lick of truth to the whole thing. And I'm getting sick and tired of just going over and over and over, and then the next thing you know, it's to no good. Besides, when I talk a lot, my throat gets parched. <laughs> this might be a good time to offer us a drink. Barkeep, uh, barkeep, I need to start a tab. Okay, boys, I'm ready. I love it when he tells this story. Well, it all started about 50 or 60 years ago. Back in the Texas frontier was a dangerous place to be, and the rangers were out in full force. There was an old ranger by the name of Ira Landers. Now, he and his buddy Ben were hot on the trail of a scandal everybody calls Smiling Rod. We got him, cop! Where's your rifle? I left it on the horse. You think we should rush him? Ben, take a deep breath. Now empty your pistol. What? You know, boys, I'll cover you. Leave one bullet in it. Are you crazy? Trust me. Did you lose him again? Now I see you do better. Boys, they're empty. Let's go get him. Somebody will fall for that one every time. I cannot believe that worked. They're not very smart. That's why they're out of But it won't work again. We gotta get these boys in the crossfire. Yes, sir. Hey, Ben, that new hat? Yeah, it cost me a month's pay. Right smart hat. Scoop. Boys, we got a lot of shots. They're about to get us in the crossfire. Howdy, Rob. Looks like we keep crossing paths. Oh, Ben, you just might as well let me go. You know I'm just gonna bust out of jail again. Then I'll just have to track you down again. Now you put that gun down real slow and you stand up. I don't wanna have to shoot you. I'll never drag your huge carcass back to town. Now put your hands up. Stop. Now you turn around real slow, you hear me? You're under arrest, Rob. Now, don't move. Thanks for your help, buddy. <laughs> now I gotta get both of you back to town. Hello, Miss Keith. How are you doing today? Fine, how are you doing? We are fine. Can we get a gallon of the cream from you? Sure. Good and fresh. Sure. Thank you. Boys, tell Miss Cheek thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Boy, two men. Sir? Mom, what's wrong with that man? Shh, don't bother that man. You all right? Yeah, you busted in the nose. Let me see. What do you think? Yeah, he sure whacked you a good one. Oh! 
What was that for? Ben, I'm trying to get your attention. You almost got yourself killed today. When you're dealing with bad men, you gotta act quick. You don't have time to think. You know better than that. Either cuff them or club them or shoot them. Don't stand around and talk about how the day went. Hey, look, I'm not mad at you. You're coming along just fine. I just don't want to see you get yourself killed. I know it. I owe you one. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. We got more to think about anyway. I got a telegram from Captain John today. He wants us to meet him over by the spring tomorrow. You feel up to riding? Yes, sir. Good. I'd like to cover some ground before it gets dark. Okay. Let's go. Gonna be able to hold a smiling knob in this jail? That's not our problem. We got them here, that's all we needed to do. Now let's get going. Flick me on the end of my nose to get my attention. When I did get the horses watered and they are tied up, let me do anything else. Hello? Ben, sit down. What's the matter with you? You know, I've been a ranger more than 20 years. Gosh, I've chased outlaws all over the state. Been shot at so many times, I, I can't even remember. And besides, when little Jake was born, Clara died right afterwards. Staying busy as a ranger is the only thing that kept me from going crazy. But I sure didn't intend for mom and dad to have to raise my son. You know, looking back, I've done my duty as a ranger. I just ain't done it as a father. I gotta get back to the farm. I gotta help my dad and I gotta raise my boy. Sounds like you're thinking about quitting. No, I'm not thinking. I got one more job to do in Palo Pinto. And when that's done, I'm gonna turn in my bag. Oh, there's no way I know what it feels like to lose somebody like Clara. I didn't know you were still carrying it with you like that. And what I'm about to say is gonna sound awful selfish, I know, but if you hadn't been there today, I don't know what would have happened to me. I'm not ready to do this on my own. I still need you here. Ben, I gotta ride my own trail. And my trail right now is taking me back to the farm. You're doing fine. You've come a long way. I'm proud of you. Besides, John is a good captain. He'll take care of you. There is one thing, though, that I wanna warn you about. And that's Shane Stocks deal. Something about that guy. I don't trust him for nothing. I know what you mean. All he ever talks about is getting rich and being a big shot. Gets so tired of his mouth. You know, he fancies himself as one of those. What'd you call it the other day? <laughs> Politician. Politician. That's right. Yeah. Worst kind of man there is. You got that right. Well, you just remember, when you're around Shane Stocksteel, you be careful. I will. We gotta leave out early in the morning. Let's get some rest.
you know, it might have been a little bit easier for me to get some this if he hadn't have clicked me right on the end of my nose. Still hurt. I can't even breathe out of this side. That is a right smart hat. What do you mean by that? What do you mean right smart hat? Ira, what's wrong with my hat? What's the matter? I've been thinking. Before we go on over to Palo Pinto, I want to run up to the farm and check on Jake. All right, but you know Captain John ain't going to be very happy if you don't show up on time. He'll get over it. Besides, stock still ain't going to be on time anyway. You got that right. You tell Captain John I'll be about an hour late. I'll meet you over at Springs later. Yes, sir. Calgondo. I don't smile and Rob kick your tail again? Yes, sir. That's the second time that old horse thief has got the best of you. Yeah. Where's Ira? Oh, he said he'd be here shortly. He just wanted to stop at the farm to see Jay. Well, dang, I'd have liked to stop and see Kayla too, but I didn't. It's going to be way after dark before we get in now. Hey, you boys ready yet? Waiting on Ira. Hey, Ben, what happened to you? Don't worry about it. Hey, Captain John, I've been thinking, uh, I'd kind of like to go along with Ira on this one. You say he's the best, and you know, maybe he can teach me something. Captain, I thought I was supposed to be going with Ira. Shane's got a pretty good point. He might learn something. Captain, I really feel like I need to be going. Son, Ira could do it by himself if he needed to, and you know it. I know, but he's expecting me to be going. Shane will be there if he needs him. That's right, Ben. I'll be there. Shane. You wait for Ira. Ben, you're going to meet a Colville. Yes, sir. Captain, I don't think this is a good idea. They'll be okay. about him quit. Pinto yet. Just wanted to stop by the farm and check on the two of you before I left. Foot, I need to talk to you. You know I've worked hard to be a Texas Ranger, don't you? Yes, sir. And the problem is I just ain't been around much to be a good father for you. So I've decided when I come back from Palo Pinto, I'm just gonna stay home on the farm. And you and me and Grandpa, we're gonna work this land together. When are you gonna be back? It'll be a few days. Why can't you just stay now? Well, I've always told you that when you start something, you gotta be man enough to finish it, haven't I? Yes, sir. Okay, well, I started something and I gotta go finish it. So you just mind your grandpa now. Don't give him any trouble. Oh, he don't ever give me any trouble. He's a good boy. We'll keep things together until you get back. Jake, tell your pa bye and get back to your chores now. Bye, pa. Bye, Pooh. It's about time you're coming home stay. I know. What do you have to do in Palo Pinto? 
Well, I just got to pick up one of the Woods boys and take him over to Mineral Wells for trial. Turns out he got drunk and shot one of the whores. Well, you be careful. Those Wood boys got more brothers than you can shake a stick at. Pa, I've been through this more than a hundred times. I know you have. Just be careful. Yes, sir. I gotta go. I'll see you when you get back. All right. Son, you look tired. I am, Pa. I am. Then Ira rode off to meet up with the other rangers, only to find out that he's been stuck with Shane Stocksteel, and he ain't too happy about it. Where's Ben? Captain John thought it'd be a good idea if I went with you. Well, let's get going then. Yes, sir. Take care of the horses and get us a couple of rooms for the night. And when you're done, meet me over at the sheriff's office. I don't want you messing around town tonight. I don't want you getting mixed up with those Woods brothers, just in case they're here. Shane! I hear you, I hear you. Can I get your horses, mister? Yeah, kid, get these horses some water and fresh drink. Thank you. Sandy, ma'am. Evening, Sheriff Jackson. I'm Ranger Hour Landers. Welcome to Palo Pinto County, Ranger. Thank you, sir. I'm here to pick up the Woods boy. You're not going to take him tonight, are you? No, sir. I'm going to spend the night. I just wanted to check in with you and take a look at the boy. He's right over here. Who's that? Down, <laughs> Here's your boy around here. Shame that bartender didn't aim a little higher. I hear the old man and the brothers are in town. They may be trying to break him out. Watch your back. Ranger, you better enjoy this night. Because it might just be your last. You got any coffee? You bet. Always got coffee. I need a drink. Tell me something, Ranger. 
You're not here alone, are you? Might as well be. I told that other ranger to meet me here right away. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but I'll tell you this. I'm mighty tired. You need to get some sleep. Don't you worry about that woods boy. He'll be here come morning when you come after him. Thank you, Sheriff, and thank you for the coffee. You're mighty welcome. Good night. Good night. You're doing a good job, Deputy. We'll see you in the morning. Good night, Ranger. Ranger, you ain't taking my boy nowhere. Man, I thought you were gonna teach me something. I don't even know how to die. Let's get a doctor. We got a ranger down over here. Well, I guess Ira was right about stock steel all along. Guess he was. Old stock steel was rotten to the bone. All wrapped up in himself. <laughs> so what happened to Coy and little Jake? Well, Captain John wanted to go back to the farm and tell Coy personally. But when little Jake saw him coming, he knew something was wrong. Jake grew up on the farm and took care of Coy, even though he didn't want to be a farmer. But he knew that it was the right thing to do. Jake! Jake! Yes, sir. When you're done, you need to get to town. We got a lot to do today. I'll be right there. Supplies there? Yeah, that's yours. Need some help? No, sir, I've got them. Oh, Grace. Sarah, get Mr. Ryan a book. Yes, sir. Hey, Jake, how you been? 
Good morning, Mr. Tillman. How are you? Fine, thank you. Say, how's your grandpa? I haven't seen him in the coon's age. Grandpa's doing good. He's just on reserve. Well, listen, you tell him I said hi next time you see him here. Yes, sir, I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sarah. So, how's things on the farm? Oh, they're good, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is, how are you, Jake? I'm fine. Why? It's just the last couple of times you've been in town, you just haven't been your normal, happy self. When we were growing up, you always used to talk about being a ranger like your pa. I know farming isn't exactly what you planned. That's definitely not what I had in mind, Sarah, but... I think my grandpa really needs me right now. That's just kind of what I need to do. It's not easy to give up your dreams, but you put your family first, and I want you to know that we all really admire you for doing the right thing. Thank you, sir. I needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. You don't be a stranger now. Thank you, honey. And you tell your grandpa hi. And if you need anything, you let us know. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, so Jake stays on the farm with Coy? Right. Well, then, uh, what happened to Shane and Ben? Well, this is where the story gets interesting. Uh, Captain John investigated Ira's murder, and he figured that Stock Steel had something to do with it, but he just couldn't prove it. And with all the uneasiness surrounding Ira's death, Stock Steel decided to leave the Rangers and settle in Palo Pinto. Yeah, and he got himself elected to sheriff, and as usual, he's up to no good. Oh, he's a skunk. You right. know that he charged all the business owners in town protection money? Well, why didn't somebody stop him? He had the whole town scared stiff, that's why. Yeah. One old boy tried to buck him, but he come home one day in his house and his barn and everything was burnt to the ground. Mm. So he was just a bully? Bully with a badge. Yeah, but the worst thing, the worst thing he ever did was one day when an old miner came to town. He ain't bluffing me this time. Hank, I had you beat for even dealt the cards. You ain't one yet, my call. What is it, Henry? Well, you said to let you know if a stranger came into town. Yeah. Well, a man came to buy supplies. He says he's working some land on a claim just west of town. And? Well, he paid for it with this. What's a hunk of gold? I think I'll just keep this. You can't have that. That's mine. Henry, how do you know it's not stolen? There's a lot of bad people in this world. I'll tell you what, we'll just consider it next month's protection payment. You can't do that, Sheriff. Henry, how's your daughter? You leave her alone. <laughs> Let's play cards. Hey, what can I do for you, old timer? I got a drawing here. Got some hardware and hinges made up. What can you do here? Yeah, I could do it, but it's going to take me a couple of days. I've got a claim I'm working down here, west of town, about a mile up the ridge with a little shanty. Yeah, I know where it's at. Uh, think you can bring that to me? Yeah, I'd be glad to, but I'm going to need about half a fight for the materials. Okay. How about this? Okay. Wow. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. You must be doing pretty well up there. You know, this is a lot more than what this is going to cost. Yeah, how about giving me some credit? Be glad to do that. Yes, sir. Be glad to do that. Can you tell me where the nearest saloon is? That's yeah, down the street there. Turn left on the left hand side. Thank you, Captain. Yes, sir. Take care. I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Hank. If word gets out that there's gold here, we'll have Yahoo's coming in from everywhere. I don't want to have to educate them on our way of doing business. Hank. Hi, the do you Give me a beer and a shot of your finest whiskey there. Now that porcupine stuff. Don't serve nothing but the best. 
Howdy, old man. How you doing? Doing just fine. As you can see, I'm the sheriff in town. When strangers come to town, I get to know them and their business. What's your business? Well, I'm just here to get some supplies for winter, and drink my drinks, and I'll be gone. Where are you heading? Got a little place west of town here. I'm working. What kind of work you doing? A little panning, a little digging. <laughs> a gold miner. Striking a rich, are you? Ain't been too bad. Texas Coal did some prospecting here a few years ago. <laughs> they didn't even find enough gold to fill a tooth. I wouldn't plan on striking it rich. Yeah. Perhaps they uh, dug in the wrong spot. <gasps> you know, old man, they say mining can be very dangerous. I'd be awful careful if I were you. I'll keep that in mind. Sure. So what do you think? About what? That miner. It's nothing. He just got lucky, found a couple of nuggets. Look, you get back to the ranch and check on the boys. Somebody's got to get some work done today. Well, what are you going to do? You go check on Henry's daughter? That's none of your business. Do what I said. Yes, sir. Sheriff! The bit of murder. So Stock Steel murders an innocent man in cold blood and gets away with it? Hold your pony, boy, and don't get ahead of the story. Now, Stock Steel did investigate the murder, but he filed it as an unsolved robbery. And then he went and buried the miner right there on his own property. 
So he did get away with it. I can't believe that somebody didn't get suspicious about this. We never did say that he got away with it. Now order me another drink before I get parched. Another round, please. Well, Captain John and his daughter Kayla, they were living up in Colville. Honey, and I, they... how long are you going to be here? Well, it's going to be a while. <laughs> are you telling those stories again? Yeah, and it's one about the big shootout. Lordy, you're going to be here all day. I'm going to go shopping. Great. You boys look like you're planning on having a good time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, we don't need <laughs> drinks to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, but why take a chance? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see now. Where was I? Well, you were about to tell me about Captain John and Kayla. Oh, yeah. Well, Captain John and his daughter Kayla were living in Colville, not too far from the Landers' place. Now, Kayla was at the farm doing the chores when her father rode up with some bad news. Hey, Daddy, I got some stewing for you inside. Sorry, Kayla. I'm not going to be able to eat with you tonight. What's wrong? I got a wire when I was in town, and some old miner got murdered in Palo Pinto. Well, what's that got to do with you? There's law in Palo Pinto. Whoever sent that wire asked for my help. Help for what? I don't know. I don't even know who sent it. Well, you're the captain around here. Why don't you just send another ranger? I'm sure Ben would go for you. Oh, that would just make matters worse. Why? You said Ben's the best ranger you got. Stockstill is a sheriff in Palo Pinto. So that's why you look so worried. You think he did it? I don't know whether he had anything to do with it or not, but since Ira's murder, nothing would surprise me about Shane. And that's why you don't want to tell Ben? Oh, that's exactly why I don't want to tell Ben. He'd end up shooting him. I know he would. Well, what's wrong with that? I don't trust Stockstill and neither do you. You don't know what you might be running into. You're just like your mother, always trying to take care of me. Somebody's got to. I've got to get going. I'm going to be gone for a couple days. And oh, I got Billy to stop by and check on you. Billy? Billy! You know I cannot stand him. I like Billy. He'd make you a right good husband. Maybe, but I don't want him as a husband. What's wrong with Billy? But he's weird. And just because he has money doesn't mean I'm going to fall in love with him. He's got a good job with his family's hotel. He could take care of you good, and you wouldn't have to worry about him whether he's coming home at night or not. You mean like Mama had to worry about you? Kayla, I'm not going to be around forever, and I've got to find somebody that'll take care of you. I know you worry about me, but when I decide to get married, I'll do the finding. You're the most capable woman I know next to your mom, and I'm proud of you. And I know you'll make the right choice when the right time comes. Thanks, Daddy. But don't take too long. Dad! I've got to go. Love you, honey. I know. Please be careful. Kayla, keep that shotgun loaded. Yes, sir. Ranger, you Ranger McIntyre? Yes, sir, I am. I'm the one that sent you Mets for help. Now, why did you need help? Well, Captain, I'm, I'm the one that found the dead miner of west of town. Why'd you wire me and not talk to the sheriff? Most of us in Pelican, we, we, we just don't trust the sheriff. Tell me why you don't trust the sheriff. Well, Captain, for one thing, did you know he's making all the business owners pay in protection money? So you think Stockstill has something to do with this murder? Yes, sir, I do. And you are? Well, Ranger, don't worry about him. He's a good friend of mine. 
a few days ago, I overheard the sheriff talking to the miner before he left. Then he followed the miner out of town. Next thing you know, I go out there, find the miner dead. What I need both of you to do is write a statement and sign it. Can you do that for me? Well, Ranger, if that'll help get rid of this problem here with the sheriff, I'd be glad to. Me too. I'll take my horse, and I'm going to go up and see the sheriff. And don't talk to anybody about this until you see me again. OK, Ranger. brings you to Palo Pinto. What do you know about the death of that old miner? Well, that's a fine how do you do from an old friend. Let me buy you a drink. You look no, tired. No, 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 I ain't got time for a drink. What do you know about that murder? I don't know how you found out about it, but I know this. I'm the sheriff of Palo Pinto, and this is my jurisdiction. Shane, I'm a ranger, and this is all my jurisdiction. I'm going out to that camp, and I suggest you come along. I'll tell you what, that sounds like a good idea, John. What'd your investigation turn up? Well, not much of anything, John. When I got out of here, there wasn't really anything of value left, so I wrote it off as a robbery and murder. What about the gold? Gold? Ain't no gold out here, John. Out of fact. Miner dead who ended up with his land. You know, I thought you might ask that, John. That old man came into town the other day and needed some money, and, uh, well, I bought the place. I let him stay on working for me, though. You know, Shane, there's just something about this that don't add up. You ain't gonna get far, old man! Hi, Miss Kayla. Oh, hey, Billy. What brings you to the farm? Well, I just came out to check on you, like the captain asked me to. I also wanted to ask you and the captain to come out to dinner tomorrow at my family's place. Well, I certainly appreciate the invitation, but my father's not here, and I don't know when he'll be back. Well, uh, you could come. I'd be happy to come get you. What's wrong? Daddy? I've been shot. I don't have long. You've got to get out of here. They're coming after me. Who's coming? Get these papers to Ben now. No, I've got to get out, Daddy. Kayla, Stocksdale did this. You got to find Ben and get him those papers. He'll know what to do. Grab hold of me, sir. Let's get you inside. You got to go. You don't have time. to me. You got to get out of here. They're coming after me. What can I do to help you, sir? Get my daughter out of here. I'll tell you what you can do. You can take these papers to Ben Crowder. He's over in Calgondo. Tell him what happened and I'm going to get the doctor. You don't have time for I'll that. I'll find him, Kayla. Thank you, Billy.
going the easy way or the hard way? Should not have done that. Yeah, they got her. Man, when you told me it gets bad, I wasn't expecting anything as bad as this. He was a bad man. Boy. <coughs> Compared to him, a fart would smell like a 50% a tulip. What? He's a bad man. Oh, at this point, he'd do whatever it took to get whatever he wanted. So, Stocksteel seems to be getting away with whatever he wants. Where's Ben all this time? Oh. Will you let me tell it? First of all, Stocksteel's men have taken Kayla back to the old miner's shack. Morning, Mr. Stocksteel. Open that door. Yes, sir. Oh, well, looks like one of us had a bad day. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> well, now, now, my little darling Kayla. That is certainly no way to talk to your elders. I really would have thought John would have raised you better than that. You're a murderer, and Ben will never let you get away with this. Ben? <laughs> ben. Ben. I can take care of him, too. But if you want to keep that pretty little face of yours, I suggest you tell me where that deed is. What deed? Kayla, don't play games with me. I'm quite certain that your daddy gave it to you. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is it? I'll never tell you anything, and you know it! You'll tell me where that deed is, and you'll just wish you were dead. You will tell me. Stay here. No food, no water. Do not let her out for any reason. Bo you heard me. It's gonna be cold tonight. We got plenty of blankets for her. <laughs> no blankets. She gets cold enough, she'll talk. Stamp, grab one of the men, find that horse. It'll be somewhere between here and the McIntyre place. That's where the deed is. Yes, sir, boss. Now? Oh, yeah. Kayla, what happened? Her horse is running loose and I, 
found a note in her saddlebags. You think John's really dead? I hope not. But it looks like Taylor's in serious trouble. Look, you take this note to Ben. He'll know what to do. He's in Calgando. Yes, sir. And hurry. Yes, sir. Now, what is so all fired important? Uh, I think John's been murdered. Where's Kayla? I think she's been kidnapped. This stock steel did it. Stock steel. Let's go. Yes, sir. What's going on in here? Marshal, I'm Ranger Crowder. That's my prisoner. I suggest you get him out of jail before he wakes up. Jake, right. yeah. how'd you get this note? Kayla's horse was running loose at the farm, and it was her saddlebags. They're going to track that horse down wherever it went. They're going to find the farm? It's just a matter of time. Grandpa! Let's get this saddle off of you. I wonder where you left Kayla. Okay. What happened? Jake? It's, it's me, Jake. Ben? You, you okay? Care. What happened? I don't know. I come out here to take care of that horse. I don't know what happened. You okay? Can you get up? Can you, can you walk? I think so. Help me out. Yes, sir. Let's get you inside. Careful. Little bit. Coy, did you see anything? No, Ben, I didn't see anything. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna look around. Grandpa, I'm so sorry I let this happen to you. Jake, they would have come after that horse no matter what. I should have been ready for him. I'm just glad you got that note to Ben. Yes, sir. Jake? Yes, sir. You know your pa never wanted to be a lawman. I know, sir. Mm -hmm. But I know that he wouldn't have wanted you to sit back and do nothing when somebody needs your help. Yes, There's a bundle under my bed with your paw's hat on it. Bring them out for me. Yes, sir.
out there. That was your paws. He carried every day of his life, and I know he would have wanted you to have it. Thank you, Grandpa. He should have his hat too, Jake. Jake, you go with Ben. He's a good ranger. And you've got to help him find Kayla. Grandpa, are you sure I can leave you here by yourself? Sometimes people have to make sacrifices to do what's right. I'll be fine. Grandpa, are you sure? Yes. Just be careful and use your head. Now get going. Yes, sir. And listen to Ben. He was taught by one of the best. Yes, sir. Kayla back, no matter what. She's like my own daughter. And I'm going after Stocksteel. Well, this Stocksteel fella, didn't he used to be a ranger? Well, he wore a badge. I never called him a ranger. And I don't know if you know this, but he's the one that's with your dad the night he got murdered. You think he might have had something to do with it? Well, I know he did. He's in that saloon messing around with a whore or gambling or something, but he wasn't doing his job. You must ask him that a hundred times. What'd he say? Oh, he gave me and John some cock and bull story we never believed. And no, I'll never forget. We were in Colville. Now we got word you. Dad had been murdered. Never did forgive myself for not going with him. I remember that day. Paul came by the farm. He stopped to say hi. The last time I ever saw him on. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Did you ever talk about me? Talk about you? Good Lord, yes. Every day. Never got so tired of hearing about little pudding. <laughs> He told you about pudding. <laughs> he told me everything. Pudding this, pudding that, pudding pooches britches. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you, kid. You know, I wish your pa could have seen you today. Help me out. He'd been so proud of you. I remember Paul used to come home to talk about some outlaw he was running now. Remember, I couldn't wait to grow up and be just like him. Now here I am, riding across Texas with you and I'm trying to run down some outlaw. So what's bothering you? I've never even pointed a gun at anyone, let alone shoot him. I don't know if I got it in me. I think it just means you're human. It's never easy shooting a man, no matter who it is. The only people who find it easy are people like Shane Stocksteel, got no feeling, no conscience. They don't even have any blood running through their veins. They don't care. But the rest of us, it hurts. And it's hard. It should be hard. When the shooting starts, I don't know what to do. Believe me, when the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. It's in your blood, Jake. You're gonna do fine. I hope you're right. I wanna get this stock steel. <laughs> We're gonna get stock steel. I promise you that. We gotta get some sleep. We got a long way to go tomorrow. If I can sleep. Ugh.
night, little pudding. <laughs> How's that girl out there doing? Ah, uh, she's fine. They're in staff for out with her right now. Now let us know if she spills her guts. Yeah. Looks like we got some strangers coming into town. Don't recognize them. This ain't right. What ain't right? Look around. This town's just dead. Why? Probably because Doc Stills got everybody so scared. They don't want to come around anymore. Let's go over there. What are we going to do? We're going to stir things up a little bit. What do you have? Never warm me up. Whiskey work? I'm fine. How about you, Slim? Me? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll have what he's getting. Hey, we're in town looking for Sheriff Stockstill. You know where we can find him? Most folks come in here looking for the sheriff know where to find him. What do you want? Finish up a little business with him. We're on our way out to Abilene. Just thought we'd stop in on the way. Let's get on down to the sheriff's office and Ask the deputy, he'll know where to find him. See that cowboy behind us? Jake, you're not paying attention. He was listening to every word we said. And that bartender knows a lot more than he's letting on, too. All right, let's go talk to him. You don't take too kindly to strangers asking a lot of questions. Mister, you're about to make a serious mistake. What would that be? Ranger Crowder. What happened to Captain McIntyre? He was murdered. Sorry to hear that. Well, that's why we're here. I'm the blacksmith. I'm the one who wired him. Anything I do to help? I don't know right now, but I'll look you up when we get back in town. Okay. Well, it's about time they went after Kayla. <clears throat> yeah, but it ain't gonna be easy. See, when Hank woke up, he went right away and told Stock Steel what had happened. Well, Stock Steel was furious. He told him to go get the rest of the men and get ready for a fight. <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, back at the minor shack, Old Bear and Stout, they don't know what happened in town. That's what he got, Kayla. 
thought the boss said no food for her. She wouldn't eat it. We'll go. It's more for me. <laughs> When I give you the signal, you go down and get Kayla. And I want you to meet me at the end of town at the blacksmith shop, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. What's the signal? You'll know. <sighs> These beans ain't setting so good. I gotta go. some powerful beans. It was the beans, you idiot. They pulled me over. Who? Kayla. Kayla. I'm taking you home. Hey, where's the girl? Sox is gonna be mad? Of course he's gonna be mad. He's gonna kill us if he finds us. So what do we do? I don't know about you, I'm getting out of here. Well, where are you going? I don't know anywhere but here. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? Who's that? Brandon Crowder. I need some help. Get her some blankets. Bear down there. Soon, I promise. I knew you'd come after me. I'm just so sorry it took us so long to get here. Ben, I know you, and I know that you want to take on stock still, but you can't. There's too many. Kayla, your daddy taught me something a long time ago. If you're in the right, it doesn't matter how many are against you. Yeah, and daddy also said if anything happened to him, that you'd take care of me. I know. I did promise you I'd take care of you. You can't if you're dead. Jake. Yes. Don't leave her side for anything. Where are you going? Don't leave her side. Yes, sir. I don't know what is going to happen tonight, but you got to be ready for anything. I will, Ranger. Kayla. have to go with Ben. He can't go alone. Kayla, I'm worried about you. Please, go. He needs you. Kayla, I'll be back real soon. Wait. Kayla's right. He killed my pa and he killed hers. I'm going with you. You gonna be alright? You think you're ready for this? No, sir. But we started something and we're gonna finish it. Please. Do not 
leave her side. Should be safe, Ranger. Thank you. Let's go. Yes, sir. Kayla, I promise we'll come back and get you. Oh, this is the best story I ever heard. And now this is all true, right? Absolutely. So, so now they're, they're getting ready for the big fight. Now what happens next? Well, old Stocksdale, he knows that Ben's coming for him sooner or later. He's got hired guns positioned all around town. Hey, come here. Is everything covered? Yeah, I think so. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear I think so. You put men wherever you need to. I do not want anyone getting in this town tonight. If they do, you're going to answer to me. Is that clear? Are you sure they're coming tonight? Tonight, tomorrow night, I don't know. But he's coming. And they're going to keep coming. And we've got to be ready for them. Okay, men. Here's what we're going to do tonight. Wade, I want you to go guard the stables. Hayden, you go over to the north side of town. Jared, you take the east. Fritch, I want you to go to the back side of the bank and guard the back exit. And Shoal, you go up the stairs and guard the hotel. Alan and Dusty, I want y'all to take the south side of town. Keen and Fowler, y'all go guard the saloon. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but y'all keep your eyes open. Nobody gets in this town. Now let's go. You know, I've never interfered with your business. You've always seemed to have a pretty good handle on things. But there's something you need to know tonight. Every man is accountable for his own actions, right or wrong. You don't know me. Mind your own business. with the devil, you've got to pay the fiddler, and you will pay, Shane. Club them or shoot them. Ben, what are we gonna do? Shoot them.
I'm tired of being afraid. What can I do to help? I gotta get over to the other side of that street. You give me some cover. I'll do my best. Thank you, let's go. Okay. What's going on? What's happening? Henry's out there with a shotgun. Henry? Yeah, Henry. Howdy, Ben. Give my regards to Ira. He's dead. He's, he's dead. Where's Ben? They got him. Ben! 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 No! No! You promised! He was a good man, Kayla. And we'll all miss him. It's just not gonna be the same without him. It's a pleasure to serve under Captain McIntyre, Kayla. Wow, what an ending. No, there's more, there's more. This is one of the biggest gunfights that ever took place in Texas. It got so big that it got to the governor. And one month later, he showed up for a giant celebration. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you, fine folks here at uh, Palo Pinto for inviting me to this special ceremony. I also want to give you my sincere apologies. Had I known the situation was what it was, I would have sent help earlier. This town has been ruled by an evil man for some time now. But thanks to two brave men and one courageous young woman, the people of this town have fought back and defeated Stocksteel. Like Ben Crowder, Jake Landers, and yeah. Kayla McIntyre. Congratulations, Ben. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that very Great much. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. And as for you, you young little booger. Yes, sir. Uh, you have gone way beyond the call of duty to help this ranger. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand you have your father's uh, ranger's badge with you? Yes, sir, yeah, I do. Uh, may I see it? Yes, sir. Because of your father's fine reputation and on the recommendation of my adjutant general, and because you've gone way beyond the call of duty to help this ranger, I want to offer you a job. A job, sir? Yes. Will you raise your right hand? Yes, sir. And repeat after me. Yes, sir. 
I, Jake Landers. I, Jake Landers. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Uphold the law. Uphold the law. Tracing daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. Here I've been on vengeance that keeps burning in my mind. I bring in Lady Justice, but she's no longer blind. And I'm tracing daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. I don't know what's waiting for me just around the bend. You could be an enemy, most likely not a friend. Fearful what I'm looking for is the worst thing I could find. But I'm tracing daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. Tracing daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. Helping on vengeance that keeps burning in my mind. I bring in Lady Justice, but she's no longer blind. As I'm tracing Daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. My future is uncertain, my fate is in the wind. But I must face the man who did my daddy in. So I'm riding into trouble and I see all the signs as I'm tracing daddy's footsteps back across the sands of time. Jake, do you accept? Jake. Yes, sir. Do you accept my life? Um. Grandpa? I don't mean to disappoint you, boy, but you made a lousy farmer. Take the job. Thank you, Grandpa. Sir, I accept. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And as for you, young lady, you have demonstrated the courage and perseverance under fire that has epitomized the character of the great women who have given so much to Texas. I tip my hat to you. I want to thank you and give you this. Young lady, you're my hero. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, that's a real fine speech and presentation. You know, it's a presidential year on us this year. And by gosh, I don't think any of these presidential candidates got the ability to think. I think you ought to be running for president of the United States. Hmm. <laughs> president Friedman. Why the hell not? <laughs> Thank you, son. Ranger, are you ready to go to work? Yes, sir. Looks like Smiling Rob busted out of jail again. We gotta go. I'm right behind you, Captain. Hey, you better be careful. I'll be waiting for you. You better be. Jay, let's go. And the two Rangers rode off after Smiling Rob. Incredible. Gentlemen, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Uh, it's been our, our pleasure. You know, there's not a whole lot of folks that want to sit around listening to two old men talk about the good old days. Well, sir, they should. You reminded me that the Old West wasn't just about gunfights. You know, good people back then sacrificed a lot to do the right thing, even when it wasn't easy. And there ain't enough of that in the world today. No, there's not. And I'm going to tell you what, I give you my word, I'm going to do something about that. In fact, I'm going to leave right now and go back to Austin and start in on this. Well, you be careful. I certainly will, and thank you again. Now 
you think is ever gonna figure it out, Jake? I don't think he's that smart. Mm. Here she comes Putin, again. are you ready to go home yet? Kayla, don't call me that in front of my friends. Well, why not? They, they all know about it. Hey, you know, he never did ask you about the gold. No, he sure didn't. Landers Mining Company. Landers. Landers? In the darkness there's a crossroads Where every man decides what's right and wrong That moment of truth Make sure you know which side you're on Cause when they come They'll ride in on lightning You can't stop the man who's right And keeps on coming They wear the truth on their hearts at their side you can try to hide but you can't outrun silver stars and six guns reckoning is coming the sound of pound and thunder from above So keep your campfire low tonight Cause you can bet before the rising sun There will be blood When they ride in on lightning You can't stop Stars and six guns Silver stars and six guns